What's up everybody, Marvin Four here with another Great American Survival and in today's video we just got home from fishing out on over here at Fort Yargo State Park to find monster bass on the porch. Super excited. This is the first box of 2023. Uh, this is our January box. Super excited. Hope you guys are too. Hopefully you guys have had a wonderful year so far. We would love to hear from you guys, so make sure you take a moment, comment down below, tell us what you guys have been up to, um, if you have a resolution, or if you don't believe in resolutions, if you think resolutions are for the lunatics, um, tell us about it. We'd love to hear from you guys. We want to touch base with you guys in 2023. Our goal is to talk to you guys more and to get to know each and every one of you and try to fish with as many of you as possible. So if you're as excited as we are, stick with us. We'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, everybody, we are back inside the house. Got the box opened up. Uh, Lunker Hunt Takeover for January of 2023. Super excited about this. Um, saw some very cool stuff of theirs at ICAST, and I've also used a bunch of theirs. I know just from what I just saw that it's funny because some of the coolest things I liked about Lunker Hunt is the fact that they offered several of these pre-rigged setups that I don't fish the Ned Rig enough. And I know that's crazy because it's such a popular lure, but it's just not how I like to fish. Now, I fish it and I get results, but it's just not the way I like to do it. But the way several of these new ones that are out that are coming out of theirs are super cool. So I'm just going to get to them and show you. Um... They came out, they got us another cool bass uh, booklet. And it's cool because not only does it talk about the different lures that are in here, like they always do. That's always one of the big perks about monster bass is that they talk about certain things. And then it's talking about versatility and it's talking about depths and location, depths and location, depths and location for different types of bait presentations and different time of the year. That's one of the things that I think monster bass has hit a home run with they have done so well with breaking down and really helping people get better at fishing because even though i've been fishing my entire life and i'm 50 i'm still not a great fisherman i catch fish when almost every time i go out but i can't break down a lake and know where they're exactly supposed to be I just know that at certain points where points are and I know where laydowns are and I know how to do that. I know how to catch where to catch fish, but it's just they they really focus on a lot of that aspect, which is what I like most about Monster Bass. So first off, we're going to dive in here. We're going to talk about this box and we're talking about some of the coolest stuff that they did. Now, years ago, I caught one of the biggest bass. I caught a, at the time, it was a 7.2, and that was my biggest bass at the time. And I caught it on the um, Lunker Hunt Spider. And the bad part was, I cast out in this thing and hammered it, and just enveloped this thing and just took it to town. And my, my uh, reel broke, and it wouldn't take line. So I literally had to lock it down and I had to hand pull this thing, like literally tug it up, wrap it around and hook it. I was hooking it to the crank arm. I mean, it was that bad. I, and I ended up getting this fish to the bank, but it was so crazy that it happened that way. And then I did a video on how to fix your reel because I couldn't fix it while it, I was using it, but it was a, it was a simple solution, but it's usually it means your bearings are bad or you've over tightened your drag. So first off, Let's talk about this. This is the Reckless Roach. Now, the thing I like most about these things is the way they do them. They are just incredible, the way they are put together. And they just work. I mean, when you, when you take them out and you're throwing them around, they catch fish. And you wouldn't think they would. I mean, look at that thing. It's a roach. It's a big, nasty roach. Oh, it's like when I lived in, when I lived in Hawaii. Oh, we're everywhere. Oh, looks like it's going to fly off with someone's child. Oh. But I can imagine, just like the spider, that that thing's going to come in handy. It's the same reason why they make bird lures. 
Fish don't care. If it lands in the water and it's wiggling around, they'll eat it. I mean, they don't care if it's a bird, a bird, or a rat, or a, a buddy of mine, we were fishing a river tournament years ago, and he caught a fish with a snake. Small moccasin, tried to get into his kayak, he whacked it with a paddle, and then he just hooked it and threw it out there. Crazy, crazy stuff. So, reckless roach, first off. Next, we got ourselves a lipless crankbait called the Reactor. Very nice. This one is in silver side. Hold on, I didn't tell you what the name was on this one. Is there one? Hold on, I lost part of it. I lost part of my lure. Let's see if it's on this. It's in ash. This is called, their color is ash. Very cool. All right, back to the lipless crankbait. Lipless crankbait, this one is in, what did I say? Silver side. These are amazing lipless crankbaits. I love these. They, they have like multiple little bitty bearings in them instead of the bigger bearings that a lot of people use. Sorry about that. Uh, my dogs are barking at somebody. That my dogs usually only bark if someone's at my at my door. Now I got the hiccups. All right, next we got a Lunker Hunt Crush po Impact Popper. Nice in a great color. I like that color. Lily pad. I don't like that. Love a popper. Love a popper like this. These are golden. Uh, they just they just work. Uh, next. We got ourselves the Battle Beetle. Look at that thing. They've got some crazy little critters. They always have. What's the color on this one? This one's in Timber Beetle. All right, let's see. Look at that. I mean, that thing's gonna be crazy looking going across the top of the water like that. Or just under the water, I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's going to swim like a wake bait. Depth. Yeah, one and a half feet. So, yeah, so just under the water. Uh, like a wake bait style. I don't like that. That's a cool lure. I don't th even think I've ever seen a beetle. I mean, I just haven't. I've seen a lot of their other ones. But I've never seen a beetle. What did I say that was? Timber. Um, and next, this is what I was first talking about. Um, Lunker Hunt, when I first got wanted to start fishing the Ned Rig, they had these. And they also had them in a Ned Rig with just a wiggle worm. Um, but they came with a jig head. And these were like four or five bucks, something like that. But these were super cool because you could take them and stick them in your backpack or in your life jacket or whatever. And you weren't just throwing a bunch of loose stuff in there. Um, you were throwing a package that had your jig head and your plastics all in one, which was really cool. Um, this is the one that is their Ned Rig with their little craw pattern. Um, they called it the Finesse Craw, and it's quarter inch, quarter ounce, three inch uh, lure. Very cool. But this one right here is what caught my eye because I've never seen this one. And I've never even seen that in a store. Isn't that cool? The Finesse Frog, quarter ounce, three inch, just like the other. And this one's in like a uh, leopard green. Look at that. And the belly is like bright yellow. This right here, man, this is going to be cool. I mean, you think about the normal profile. I don't think I've ever thought about putting a uh, frog on a Ned Rig, let alone one that's going to work like that. I mean, when you look at those tails, those legs, and you see how they're going to swim, it's crazy. I mean, that's just really cool. Um, and last but not least, well, not just last, um, we got ourselves a Lunker Hunt, 20% off at LunkerHunt.com, got a card, we got a $10 off a $25 order from Monster Bass card, we got another golden ticket, they got one of those in there, and then we got ourselves a sticker, a Lunker Hunt sticker, Catch Big Fish, 2000 and 2001. And then last but not least, we got ourselves the Swim Bento. Now, these I have fished, and I do like these. They're a paddle tail swim bait, and they work really, really well. Four and a half inch, and a, it's a five pack. And the colors, I give them this. They put some of the most vibrant colors together in their, in their 
plastics. I mean, look at that. Can you see all that? Isn't that cool? It's got like this holographic, like metal. It almost looks metal on the inside, but I'm sure it's not. But I mean, that is so cool. I like that a lot. But that's one of the things I've always liked about it. Um, they've always had like just different colors and they're cool. So, but that's it. That's the Monster Bash for January of 2023. Super cool, and I'm so happy with the results. Um, honestly, if 2023 is a sign, if this is a sign of how 2023 is going to be, this is awesome. Because 2022 started off great, and then it kind of slowed down after summer, and then it just, I didn't, I, I wasn't happy with it. So hopefully this will do a lot better, and it's off to a great start. I know they've got a Strike King takeover planned and a, uh, Z-Man takeover planned. Those are going to be awesome because you're talking about two amazing companies just like you did here that just allow you to work with some amazing lures to select from. You know, it's just cool. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too. I want to thank you guys for being part of this community. Thank you for stopping by watching this video. Um, if you've never seen any of our other videos, we'll put some playlists down in the bottom. And guys, thank you so much. We mostly fish out of kayaks, um, but we love, we just love fishing. I mean, we love going fishing. We love spending time out there. Um, I take my boys. I have an older son that's 21, and I have a younger son that's 12. Uh, we both we all enjoy getting out there and catching the big ones, but it's just so much fun to work with stuff like this where you have a chance of trying something new that could be what helps you get there, helps you catch that next big one. So thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoy this um, video, and guys, whatever you do, Take time this week to get out there, enjoy yourself, enjoy nature, be prepared, and stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon. All right, so that's going to be it. That's the box. Um, as you see, 2023 is off to a great start. I hope it's as I, if it stays like this, we're going to have a home run of a year. Uh, just awesome stuff. want to say thank you to... Um, everybody for being part of our community all the support all of our subscribers if you're new to our channel and you've not been uh, around for a while hit that subscribe button ring that bell and get notified every time we post a new video and guys we couldn't do this without you um, also if you did not get involved in our 12 days of Christmas or if you commented on some of those videos make sure you're going over and checking we have until the end of February I'm um, the end of January for the winners to come forward uh, we're still missing three Guys, I really don't want to have to give it away to somebody else. I hope you guys are watching these videos. And guys, thank you guys so much for all of you that were involved in our giveaway. We couldn't do this without you. And we just wanted to give a little something back to you. Guys, thank you again. I'll put links down below to Monster Bass if you want to try one out this month. Um, there are codes where you get your first box for $10 um, or something like that. And then also, if you go over and you try them out, they usually have it where if you're signing up now... Even though we're still in January, you can sign up to get the January box. If you like this box this much, they usually have a chances for you to buy one. So that's always cool. Sometimes they do them clearance where they're like $10, $15. They're awesome. Especially when you're talking about this. We're talking about $25, $30, $40, $50, you know, worth of gear. It's well worth it. I did the same thing with the Z-Man one that they did a, few, a while back. I don't know if it was last year or the year before. And they had them for sale after, and I bought a bunch of them. So it was a huge deal. It was great. But uh, thank you guys so much. Hope you have a great week. Go over and check us out. We're on Facebook and on Instagram, and we would love to get to know each and every one of you a little better. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great week. Make sure you take time to get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. Stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.